What's going on guys, Ben here, Enos Tech, and today it's just a quick video taking a look at OCPC's Energy 80 Plus Gold Rated PSU. Now we have the 850 watt model on display here, which is ATX 3.0 and PCIe 5.0 compatible, which means for those of you with the new NVIDIA GPUs that require the extra 12 volt power cable, PSU's got your back. Other than that, it's got all the other standard Molex, PCIe, obviously EPS power connectors that you could need. Um, the cables are supposed to be fairly long, so we'll take a look at those as well. But yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. So why don't we go ahead and open the box and see what we've got. So as we can see on the front of the box, again, ATX 3.0, PCIe 5.0, fully modular, got the 16 pin connector, DC to DC, 90% efficiency, and all that type of good stuff we like to see from our power supplies. You can also again see the 80 plus gold uh, certification sticker there. Now if we just go ahead, get rid of that. Always a bit of a pain opening up the boxes for the first time. Boom, look at that. That's actually one of the nicer presentations I've seen from a power supply in some time. It just, it looks nice in quality. It doesn't look cheap or anything. So let's go ahead, open it up, set the power supply itself to the side for a second. And this is going to be our accessories box. All right, so let's open up the accessories box. Right on top, we are met with our OCPC installation guide. Obviously, this would be pretty self-explanatory for a lot of people, but if you are building your first PC, it may come in handy for you. It's definitely worth looking at. It's not that much reading, so I wouldn't be um, overly worried. We'll just go ahead and set this to the side. So alongside our cables, OCPC have also included um, four zip ties, and of course there are the screws so you can mount the PSU to your case. We have what appears to be all black cables at the moment. As you can see, these ones are a bit thin, that's nice. These are the Molex cables, allow you to um, connect up extra fans, fan hubs, or whatever you may need um, that requires Molex. We've got some SATA power cables. Obviously there's three here. Obviously with M2 drives becoming more and more popular, we're needing less of those. But again, here's three more, but it's obviously they need to be included with the power supplies because we're not to a full M2 system for most everyday users. So a lot of people will still have SATA SSDs and even some hard drives. Look, as you can see, here's a couple more. Not only do the SATA power power up hard drives, but they may power up fans, hubs, adapters, um, all kinds of things in all honesty. We've got here, we've got our PCIe cables. These are gonna be the standard ones. This is not the new 12 volt one. Um, as you can see here, it does say PCIe, PCIe. And then this one with no label on it, that's gonna be what connects into your power supply. So they are nice and labeled. So that's one with two connectors there. As you see, this one here is a bit different. This is the eight pin cable, but this one's for the CPU. So that's gonna be plugged into the motherboard to give us a bit of power to our CPU. We've got another CPU cable for eight pin power, because again, long gone are the days of a single four pin or even a single eight pin power for the CPU. We're getting more and more hungry processors, so we need the extra power. Here is our other PCIe cable. So we now have four PCIe 6 plus 2 connectors. However, if your graphics card requires two connectors, I would recommend using both cables uh, where you can. Don't just use a single cable and daisy chain it. It's always best to use both cables if you can. Here is our 24 pin uh, motherboard connector. As you can see, it connects to the, mother, um, the power supply, sorry. Um, with two different connectors, but then it comes to our 24 pin uh, power cable for our motherboard. And here we have the 12 volt, 600 watt rated uh, power cable for the new NVIDIA GPUs. Now, I do find this a bit odd that they've gone with red. It's the only red thing in the box. 
Um, obviously, they are trying to make it stand out, but I feel a lot of people may not want it to stand out. And me personally, if I was going with an all blue build, I would not be happy with that cable. And then, of course, inside the box, the last thing is the power cable. Now, obviously, depending on where you buy this power supply, it will come with different power cables. Um, I got my sample directly from Hong Kong, so that's why I've got that type of power cable on it. And yeah, that is it for the cables. That's it. The box is empty. We've got more than enough connections. We've got the up to, I think it was nine SATA cables, few Molexes, and that. Now, before we finish off, we'll take a quick look at the PSU. All right, so taking a closer look at the power supply unit itself, as we can see, the fan grill area has a nice design to it. Uh, it's got this kind of cover over it. It's got a little OCPC logo there, even though it'll be hard to see. And there is a bit of protective plastic here. So those that like to get your peel on, OCPC have got you covered. Now, flipping it over on this side, as you can see, this is plain black. Now, the reason I've done this is this is genuinely or generally, pardon me, where the sticker will be that has all that annoying information on it that nobody ever really wants to see on the actual power supply, but companies are forced to put on there. What I've done, as you can see, is I've peeled it off. I didn't heat it up. I didn't do anything. I've not cleaned it. As you can see, the sticker has come off with ease. Now, I can't guarantee this will always happen with every one of these units, but as you can see, I've pretty much peeled it off and I don't know if you can see it in the video, but there is a tiny bit of residue here and a tiny bit here, and I can feel a little stickiness there. But other than that, this is all clean. It would take me two seconds with a baby wipe to rub each one of them spots out, and it'd be clean. And that gets rid of that annoying sticker, which depending on how you build your PC, how, what case you're using, this or that, you probably won't even see it. But at the end of the day, if you do and you want to get rid of it, OCPC have you covered with the Energia and you can just go ahead and remove it. Now onto the sides, as you can see, we have a nice OCPC logo in gold. Again, this has um, a bit of protective plastic on it. And as you can see on the other side, we've got the same one there. And this one is peeling a little bit. So you just go ahead, boom, you've got your nice gold. And now this is how we know for sure that this is the gold rated version. We found out in by asking the question, and yes, if you have a platinum one, it will not be gold. It'd probably be more of a platinum color, which makes lots of sense. As always, power uh, cable input, power button, so you can turn it off at the PSU. Obviously, anytime you're doing anything, if you're pulling out a graphics card or changing anything or moving your PC, always recommend just hit the power button, uh, turn it off, and you'll be good to go. Okay, now, for the input connectors, as we mentioned, we've seen all the cables, but it doesn't get any more simpler than this. Everything is labeled. So you got your motherboard 20 plus 4 pin up here, PCIe slash CPU cables, two connectors here, and you've got another two down here. To the right of those is the 12 volt power for the new NVIDIA GPUs. Again, that was the red cable. Bit of a weird decision, but hey ho is what it is that's what they've done just so you know and then of course we have our peripheral and SATA connectors here obviously there are more cables than that will fit here included in the box but this gives you a good enough option that you can get more than enough of each either peripheral or SATA uh, for most rigs obviously if you've got making a 20 bay NAS or something and you need 20 hard drives I mean you're probably not going with this power supply anyways. You would need more SATA connectors. But for your standard builds, your everyday gamer, your everyday user, this power supply is going to be more than enough. So that's it for the energy of power supply from OCPC Gaming. This was just a quick look. We will do a write-up with more in-depth pictures and stuff uh, on the website. So if there is something we did miss that you're interested in, please do check on enostech.com. Uh, in the future and yeah look for the full review and if you have any questions please feel free to comment down below and let us know and we'll make sure to answer those for you as always thank you guys for watching and please stay tuned in the future for more content